Stephanie here with a quick review of this nifty little water bags that I picked up on Amazon today. Uh, I saw these when I was buying the Camelback antidote bladder. Uh, they're called Whirl, Pack, Whirl Packs. They're little BPA free four mil plastic water bags that are gusseted so they stand up. You can see that one there I have filled with water. They hold up to 36 ounces of water. Uh, they come they come hermetically sealed right here. There's a little perforated ridge that you pull, like you tear off, like you do when you get a frozen bag. And that uh, shows you that the bags come to you, you know, not prior used. So they're, they're sanitary. So what I did was last night I opened one, I peeled off the top, and so this one's my demonstration bag. And then there's two others that come with the kit. So it's a pack of three, I think it was $6.50. Uh, survival water bags, outdoors and camping, one liter stand up emergency water bag pack. And uh, they come just in a little nondescript bag like this. And again, to have these and throw them in a kit, uh, a backpack, a bug out bag, a um, uh, one of those pouches like I made from Maxpedition, the, fat, the Maxpedition Fatty, that I carry in the van. You could fold up one of these and put it in there and now you have a water collection bag, uh, a bag now that you can add your chlorine dioxide, your iodine tablets uh, to and purify water in the field and carry hardly any weight here. Uh, again, these are uh, very simple to use. I'm going to show you how once it's full, like this one here, what you do is you just roll it down like one of those uh, dry bags that you get. I'll get this in the camera. Just get the air out of it as much as you can. Roll it down like a dry bag several times. And you can, it's got wire across the top, so you could cinch it down like that. Or some people have even rolled them down come across here, cinched the wire together, twisted it together, and now you could actually hang it from your pack, a tree, uh, you know, put a piece of power cord through it and carry this uh, water bag um, in the field. So I watched a video last night of a gentleman that was actually, he had his son standing on this while it was just like this. The bag did not break, did not pop, the seal did not break, and then the gentleman himself stood on it. Um, he had to be around 180 to 200 pounds. The bag did deform a little bit, but it did not leak. So, you know, for six bucks, uh, putting one or two of these in your pack or in all your kits is worth its weight in gold uh, for water collection. And again, you could, there's a little white area here you could mark with a sharpie and, and you could put uh, say on one clean water only and then maybe on another water collection only use one to collect dirty water and one to uh, use only after the water was uh, purified or clean so for for a pack of three for six bucks i think it's think it's worth it um they take up no space in your pack again they come hermetically sealed these are rolled up and then the edges are just, I just tied the edges, turned the little wire edge down and uh, that's it. Very good, easy, simple, and can save your life in an emergency. Thanks for watching guys. Let me know what you think. Stand up survival water bags. Anthony signing off. Stay ready.